Hello, this is the Cobra SA32E, which is a 13 inch electrical scarifier with a powerful 1400 watt motor. Ideal for getting your lawn in good condition. So I'm going to open the box, take the scarifier out and just show you how easy and fast it is to put together so you can get cracking with it on your lawn. This is it, everything is out of the box and everything we need now to assemble the scarifier. So we're gonna to have to put together the, the box that goes on the back that collects the things when we scarify all the grass and the moss. We're gonna make the handlebars on it and that's what we're gonna start with. So this is the first piece here. Uh, it's tubular steel and there are two holes already there in the back of the scarifier. So this is where the framework will go in. So we just put this first piece in and push it down so that it's right down at the bottom of the hole. And then what we're gonna do is we've got two small screws here. We need a cross head screwdriver for these. So it's simply just a case of putting those in to locate it. So we just tighten that in and we can put the other one in this side. So that isn't gonna come out anymore. That is in nice and firmly. So we just tighten that one in that hole there so that's those in place then we've got these two poles here and, and they're both the same doesn't matter which way around we put them and they are going to attach onto the outside of the frame here and to do that we have got these it's like a, a plastic wing nut that we've got so it's very simple to do I'm just going to take it apart I'm going to hold this piece of steel here and we're going to put the bolt without the washer through from the inside and the square will hold it like that so that's held that nice and tight we can then put the washer back on and then we can tighten it with this plastic wing nut like that and it's nice and easy to do plenty of leverage on there so we repeat the same on this side so just take it to pieces to start with hold that on like that and then it's a case of pushing through from the inside on with the washer so we just pop that on start it off and give it a good spin and then we can tighten that into place this is the final section which is going to fit inside there and we're going to attach it again in exactly the same way. There is a bracket that we need to put on first. It just makes it easier to do it at this stage, which is this one just here. It makes life easier if you just slacken that off like that and then we can slide it on like that and we can sort that out, finalise that later on. Just put my little nut back in there tighten it up and then it's simply a case of fixing that to the top so again we've got the two plastic wing nuts here so we can hold one into place like this and then again we're putting our bolt through from the inside just a little bit of a jiggle to get it into place just hold it there put on the washer and then we can just spin that on, just get, get the thread going. Okay, we can double check everything's tight when we've finished. And then finally, the fourth one on there. Give it a push through, make sure the square slots in like that. And the last washer, and then that goes on there. So what we need to do now is to attach the switch and the control at the top. And we can see there the channel that it's gonna slide on. So we just put it into place, just give it a bit of a wiggle and it slides and locks into place. So that is now in position. There are two plastic clips just to secure the cable onto the framework. So they very simply slot on like that. So we'll have one there and we can put one lower down. So you put them where you feel the best place for the cable is. So that holds the cable there. And then the top of the cable, there is another small clip here. On the bracket we put on the earlier, 
you'll see there there's a little notch that that cable can just sit into there so we're holding that in place the other part of this bracket is to hold the mains cable and what we can do we can just make a little loop push that through and hold that in place like that so it just doesn't put too much pressure on the wire if you're pulling so if I lift this over like this and lift the flap you you might wonder what the cardboard box is for it already comes pre-fitted with the the metal tines the slitting tines but then it's also got in here the wire tines that you can use in this box so they are fitted in ready for action but we've got others in there so we're going to open this and just have a look inside and i'll show you how you change them so this is the wire tine scarifier and they are interchangeable so very easy to do. The easiest way is to simply flip it over on its back like that. Of course, if you're doing this in the garden, make sure that it's never plugged in. It's unplugged from the mains um, just to prevent any accidents. And you are provided with an Allen key and it's simply a case of we're going to take the uh, aerator out here, the solid one, and put this in. So we're going to take these out completely and this one loosen it as well. So we can take the bolts out and then this cartridge will easily take out. And we can see there it's got the square on at that end. To change them over, it's simply a case of just reversing what we've done. So we can put the square into there and then we can see we've got the round bit is the base. Just settle that down and align it so we can see the holes below and then it's simply a case of just popping the bolts back into the holes so just push them down quite as far as you can and then we can just tighten them with the allen key to make sure that that is really securely in place it is important that we tighten the allen key bolts right the way down so tighten them as far as you can so there we go then, nice and tight now. And it's really firm in there. So obviously that one now is put away in a garage or a shed for when you need that again and need to change it. So that is the scarifier ready to start work on the lawn. The only thing we've got to do now is to make sure we've got the grass collection bag. And that again is very simple to assemble. We've got two parts, we've got the bag, and we've got the framework that it goes on. So hold the box like that, the, the, the material box like this. So we've got the base there, and this is the top with the smooth material. And then we've got the framework there, and this is gonna be the carry handle. So with this piece, we go over the back bar and then underneath the next one. So that fits over the frame like that. Now the clip is quite tight so a little tip is just to loosen one end, just prise it out a little bit and then you can get one end on like that and once you've got one end in place it then makes it much easier just to work your way along the rest of it just opening it up and it will with a little bit of persuasion clip on like that and then it's just simply a case of working your way around the frame clipping on all the way around to make sure that everything is held tightly in place you need to put a little bit of pressure on it to get the lower ones on so we'll do this side first that one clips on there and then this one is going to clip on this piece just there and then again a little bit of tension just to keep clipping them on this side one just make sure that that is in place, the bottom one on, like that. There, so they're all now clipped on onto the framework and you can see that's the grass collection bag. And the way that fits on is very simple. It's just a case of lifting up the flap just there and then here, and here we've got two holes so these metal lugs here just sit down into them so that is really firmly in place and then of course the lid 
make sure it's not going to move any further. So it's now ready for scarifying the lawn. Before you start aerating or scarifying your lawn, remember there are different settings that you can use. It will come set at four, which is the lowest, and we can raise the body, taking it down to one. So it's always a good idea to start on a high setting. If it's not really scarifying the lawn enough, then take it down one at a time, because if you start too low, it's just gonna dig in and, and damage the lawn, but it could also damage the motor. So start high and go down. So I'm gonna start it on two uh, with this one. And then to power it up, it's very simple. On the side of this panel here, there is a red button. You've got to push in the red button first, and then it's the lever and it will start, and then you're off. And finally, don't forget, there is also the user's manual here, which has got everything from installation to caring for it and how to use it. So keep that in a safe place and do read it. Make sure that you are familiar with the machine. So happy gardening and enjoy your Cobra Scarifier. Remember to register your Cobra online at www.cobragarden.co.uk and always have your Cobra serviced regularly. Check the website for your nearest dealer.